Welcome back. In this video, we are still continuing on with the holiday theme and we're making a holiday gift shopping list or just a shopping list. You can use this, of course, throughout the year. It's a great way to personalize like your weekly grocery shopping list or a reminder for birthday present shopping, anything like that. Um, but it's especially great at the holiday season because there's so many things to buy for your friends and family. To get started, I have already created a document that is letter size just because it's super easy to print at home. The first thing I'm going to do is grab the rectangle tool and just make a rectangle that is as large or larger than your document. Turn off the stroke and then change the color to whatever you would like. Red and green are probably the most popular colors at this time of year. Um, I am always partial to blue or something other than red or green. So I'm just going to go with a light blue. And in the last two videos, we have used clip art from a product that I sell on Creative Market. So I'm just going to grab the snowflake. To copy, hit Command C or go to Edit Copy. Go back to your document and then Control or Command V, or you could go to Edit and Paste. I want to decrease the size of this. And actually now I want to change the color of that blue to an even lighter color, something more like a gray blue. And before I get started with too many of the snowflakes, I want to go ahead and add the title of the page. So just shopping list. So I like the gray a lot with the blue background. So the snowflake is a little bright for me. So I want to change the opacity of this. Um, right now it's at 100%. I think I'm going to go about 70. And then you can go ahead and start placing these all around your document. Select that snowflake or clip art, hold down option or alt, drag to duplicate it. I like to create a few of them and then go in and rotate just so they're not all the exact same. And then go in and create smaller ones. The last thing I want to do is to go in and add some ellipses as just kind of a different form of the snowflake. And I actually want to do these in blue as opposed to the white. Okay, so I want to go in and add like the title for each section of the shopping list. So you really want to include the name of the person you're buying the gift for, how much you're wanting to spend, and any ideas or the exact item that you want to buy them. Grab the rectangle tool and create a few boxes to align up with each column. Okay, so once you have that, Grab all three of those or however many columns you have. Command G to group. And then you can hold down Option or Alt to duplicate this. And also hold Shift so that it stays in line. Release. And then hit Command J. And this will duplicate that entire process. So now you have all of your columns and rows created. I'm going to go over to the layers panel and you can see how all of these groups have now appeared. Grab all of those and then once again group them all together and you can change the opacity so that the background sticks or shows a little bit more. It still gives you a nice area to write on and it will be super legible. I'm going to change this to white so it's a little bit easier to see and then I'll drop this down to probably 
And now that I have this done, I actually want to decrease the opacity of the snowflakes. So they blend in a little bit better with that background. And you can always move any of these around so that it fits a little bit better. And now you have created a shopping list, which is really great when you're out shopping at the holidays. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.